So now let's look at how to use exception handling on the same code. Firstly, we have to wrap all our code in the try block right here. And anything that may throw an exception is written within the try block. And I also forgot to mention another unchecked exception where the user may forget to type in a file name and this would cause an array index out of bounds exception right here. And we have our input file and scanner. And we also down here, we have our code that reads in integers and prints it out to the screen. And now down here, we have our handlers, which are denoted by the catch keyword, and they are used to handle our exceptions. The first one here is the array index out of bounds exceptions, which could occur if the user doesn't input his or her file name in the first argument. Next, we have our file not found exception, in which case the file is nowhere to be found. And lastly, we have our input mismatch exception, where the file could contain non-integer values. So these are all ways to elegantly uh, notify the user that something went wrong. All right, now let's try to throw these errors for the sake of examples. So when we type with no file name, so return with, and there's no file name, we get this nice error that tells us exactly what went wrong. And then let's say we put in a file name that doesn't exist, and that also gives a nice error. And let's say we want to accidentally, or we accidentally put in 10 doubles instead of ints. Then that will also give an input, input mismatch exception. And notice how the scanner are closed, are getting closed every time. And lastly, we can test with 10 ints to make it uh, run correctly. And there you have it.